Hey guys, this is Multi T Man. I'm back finally, yet again, with another computer tutorial. And for this computer tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make either your games or just your computer in general go run faster. And so, um, the first step to this, I think, is basically go if you have Windows 7, you right click and click Personalize. Otherwise, you can just um, hold on. Open up the control panel and then put up here into personalization, personalization, whatever. And so, yeah. And so, anyways, as you can see, it has all the different themes. And so, you don't want to have like, any of these here, really. These are like the. Let's see, how can I put this? Like, they're really kind of, I don't know, not really graphic intensive, but I don't know, it um, makes your computer run slow basically because it has to process all this stuff because like, it's beautiful drawings. And like for these here, these things here, like they switch from one drawing to the next, and so I really don't like around that. So what I think you should do is not Windows 7 basic, but one of these, one of these five here. So either Windows Classic, High Contrast, number one, High Contrast, number two, High Contrast, right, high, or High Contrast, right. So what I choose, because it's just, I don't know, reminds me of Windows XP, is I choose Windows Classic. And it's really better, actually, if you have no background at all. But, whatever. So, yeah, and so when you're done with that, Make sure you have like nothing excessive in your uh, icons thing running. So if you want to access that, maybe this like where it shows your time like here and then here. Everything. Also, if you have a power plan then and you want to make people run faster, you can put, make sure you click on high performance. But if it's not here, you go to more power options and it should show all your power options here. If you have a Windows XP though, it's not usually available on every single Windows XP, but on most laptops for Windows XP or Windows Vista, etc, etc, they have these, and so, uh, yeah, I'll just go to high performance for now, but remember, high performance does use more batteries, it eats the batteries away really quickly, and so I recommend you plug a charger in if you want to use it, and so, excessive stuff running like that. Yeah, also, I should probably close the loop on here. Alright, and also, another thing you should do is open up your task manager, manager, photo processes, and just look for anything that you might have opened up earlier but you didn't close or something that's really not supposed to be there. There are some things here that really should be here. Okay, so don't close it. So first thing when I close is this. I'm gonna close this. I never, I never open it by tunes. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, everything else seems necessary. And now to get to the uh, to the game perspective of this video. And so I recommend you download um, a program called Razer Game Booster. And so. Basically, it doesn't. Well, I guess it does, but it um basically uh, uh configures your computer for it to get ready to play games. So I'll just show that to you guys right now. Okay, so as you can see, it shows like all your games here, and so once you click launch, it basically launches a game that launches that game. And, and but if you want to, for maximum speed settings, I recommend you click configure here, and then just put some stuff you don't want to be around like while you're playing the game. So I don't, I don't think this is necessary. This might be entirely. Um, 
should not be running. Okay, now we move on to system services. Okay, and I recommend you read the descriptions here for system services because there might be some serious stuff there. So basically, has some stuff stuff on default. Yeah, so here I think you should also check things because that's really not necessary. Non-Windows services. Again, read the descriptions before you check anything. Okay. Other items. Uh huh. Yeah. So, oh, here if you close Explorer.exe, basically what Explorer is, it's like your desktop. So it's like all your icons on your desktop and this little bar down here. So like, I, I can show you guys what it's. Let me show you guys what it's like to close your Explorer. So, if you open up your Task Manager. And you find you press E and then uh, and then probably first thing goes to is explore it. So now I'll just end that process. And you see my desktop is now gone. But if I ever want it back, you go to applications here, go to new task, and then click on explore uh, e, enter. And a second now. And voila. I also recommend you turn that off early. Alright. And I showed you guys how to get it back in case you need it. And also, once you're done, once you close the game, basically every everything goes back to normal. So you guys don't have to worry about that. So you click apply. And then you can launch your game afterwards. So you like click your game and then click launch. And so yeah, that's basically it for now. And so this has been multi-tutor man. Finally back with another tutorial. I'm gonna...